Starship is a reusable spacecraft system developed by SpaceX. It's some massive project that aims to revolutionize space travel and make it more accessible to everyone. The Starship rocket measures 120 meters in height, which makes it larger and heavier than any other launch vehicle in history. Starship is powered by 33 Raptor engines, making it one of the most powerful rockets ever built. The concept of orbital propellant refilling and fuel rapid reusability is central to the success of the Starship system. These unproven concepts will allow the Starship to launch up to 150 tons of payload to low Earth orbit while still recovering both the orbital ship and suborbital booster for reuse. This will significantly reduce the cost of space travel and make it more sustainable. Elon Musk aims to make reusability a quick and efficient process, with each ship and booster able to perform multiple launches in a single day. This goal would significantly reduce the cost of space travel, bringing the marginal cost of each launch down to a mere few million dollars. While the Falcon 9 rocket uses less complex Merlin ID engines, it can only launch about 11% of the payload that Starship is capable of launching to orbit. Despite this, the cost of the Falcon 9 launch remains at $15 million. This showcases the difficulties that Starship must overcome in reaching orbit and successfully retrieving both the ship and boosters. SpaceX faces a challenge in realizing the full potential of its Starship spacecraft system as consistent recovery of both ships and boosters from orbital launches is a must. The company may face difficulties in making the prototypes reusable, leading to the fact that the Starship upper stage will be essentially a one-time use. Although Elon Musk has hinted at the possibility of an expendable mode, it's unclear what that means. It's possible that SpaceX may develop a specialized upper stage for expendable missions, streamlining its mass to increase the efficiency. Currently, the Starbase factory of SpaceX is already producing expendable starships with no heat shield or fins, making them non-recoverable. These ships may serve as test subjects for vital technologies such as orbital refilling and cryogenic fluid management. SpaceX has signed a multi-billion dollar contract with NASA to send astronauts back to the moon using the Starship spacecraft. This historic mission will see the utilization of a depot ship variant of the Starship, which will remain in orbit around the moon and serve as a storage facility for fuel. The initial moon lander missions may use expendable versions of the Starship, designed for one-time use only and not capable of returning to Earth. SpaceX has extensive plans to build both reusable and disposable versions of the Starship, these different variants will have varying payload capacities and capabilities, providing greater flexibility for future missions. The stainless steel spacecraft can be used multiple times or disposed after one-time use, depending on the specific mission objectives. SpaceX is setting a new standard in space launches with their Starship system. With its expendable performance, the company is confident in the system's ability to revolutionize the industry. The new launch system offers significant capabilities, including the capability to launch an impressive amount of cargo into low Earth orbit in a single launch. The cargo configuration of Starship boasts a fully enclosed design and can deploy over 100 tons of cargo with ease. The payload fairing has a width of 8 meters and an extended volume capable of accommodating payloads of up to 22 meters in length. This unique feature allows companies to deploy entire satellite constellations in just one launch. With the standard payload fairing measuring 9 meters in outer diameter, it boasts the largest usable payload volume of any current or in-development launcher. The Starship payload fairing is designed as a clamshell structure, which integrates the payload and remains closed throughout the launch until it's ready to deploy. One of the key features of the Starship is its large cargo door, which opens to release payloads and closes upon re-entry. Unlike traditional nose cone fairings, payloads are integrated directly into the Starship's payload bay. The cargo can also be replaced with a shot and dispenser rack, whose mechanism has been compared to a Pez candy dispenser. In the future, there will also be a propellant depot variation. Another variation of the Starship is its Lunar Lander variant, which is critical to the Artemis program, the Human Landing System, or HLS. 
it will play a crucial role in sending astronauts to the moon and beyond. NASA's current human exploration program for the moon is an ambitious effort that claims to send astronauts back to the lunar surface and establish a sustainable presence. The lunar landing craft, known as the Lander, is accompanied by Starship tankers and a propellant depot. The tankers transfer fuel to the depot until it is full, after which the depot fuels the lander. This ensures the lander has enough thrust to reach lunar orbit and rendezvous with the Orion spacecraft. The crew then transfers the lander, landing on the moon's surface and conducting research and exploration. Once their mission is complete, the crew returns to the Orion spacecraft and returns to Earth. The Starship rocket is a versatile and powerful spacecraft capable of carrying a significant payload, depending on the requirements of the agency or company that requests its services. The completion of the crew's mission on the moon marks a major milestone in the ongoing effort to explore and understand the lunar surface. Upon returning to the Orion spacecraft, the crew undergoes a thorough debriefing process to share their findings and experiences with mission control and other scientists. They are also subjected to a series of medical exams to assess the impact of their time in space and on the lunar surface. Meanwhile, the lander and the Starship tankers remain on the moon, waiting for the next mission to arrive. The propellant depot continues to store fuel, ready to refuel future missions as they arrive. This system of refueling and resupplying spacecraft allows for long-duration missions and sustained human presence on the moon. The Starship rocket is a key component of this effort providing a reliable and efficient means of transporting astronauts and equipment to the moon. Its versatility and payload capacity make it the best option for a wide range of missions and projects, from scientific research to commercial ventures. Whether it's carrying supplies and equipment, transporting crews, or launching satellites, the Starship rocket is an essential tool in the ongoing effort to explore and utilize the moon. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more updates on our journey to the moon. And remember to like and subscribe for more space-related content. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars.